Hi and welcome to the first tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. Uh, in this series I'm going to show you how you can create your own 2D games using the Unity software. I've also made a series on 3D game design in Unity so if you're interested in making 3D games then make sure you check out that series as well. Um, anyway in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get started by downloading the Unity software and setting up your first project. So to download Unity, you need to go to unity3d.com and just click on Get Unity. And then you can just select the Personal Edition, uh, which is free. So basically, we've got Personal, Plus, Pro, and Enterprise. Um, there's a few differences between uh, each of those plans, but for what we'll be doing in this series, we can just use the Personal Edition, which is free. Um, and allows you to make some pretty cool games. Um, so you just need to click on download now. You can install it on Windows or Mac. I'm going to um, demonstrate Unity on a Mac, um, but all of these steps and the tutorials are pretty much exactly the same whether you're using Windows or Mac. Okay, so when you download the software, I've already, uh, I already have Unity installed on my computer, but when you download it, you can install it using um, just by selecting all of the default options. So um, you don't really need to worry about picking any extra options during installation. Just go with the defaults and um, let it install. Once it's installed, you can go and open Unity. And this is the first screen that you'll see. So here you have projects and you'll have a list of projects that you're working on once you've created some projects. Um, or you can also, if you're opening a project that's maybe been made on another computer, um, then you can click on open other and browse for the folder that that project is stored in. I'm going to create a new project though. So just click on new project. And then here you need to give your project a name. So I'm just going to call it 2D game. And you need to select the folder that you're going to store your project in. So I have a um, default folder um, here. It's in documents and then Unity projects. And I'm going to store um, my project in another folder in here. So I'll choose that folder. And then here you need to make sure that um, if you're wanting to make a 2D game that you select 2D. So you've got the option between 3D or 2D. We're going for 2D in this series, okay? You can also import asset packages. So you can click there and you can choose different asset packages that you might need for your game, but you don't need to worry about selecting anything now. You can easily import them later on, okay? So we're not gonna worry about any asset packages for now. We'll just click on create project. And here we go. So uh, this is the uh, Unity interface. Um, we have a few different sections here that we'll look at in this tutorial before we start creating um, a game. So over here you have the hierarchy and this is where you have a list of all the game objects in the current scene you're working on. Okay, so things like your cameras, uh, things like um, lighting that you might have in your game, um, the different objects or assets in your game, like um, characters or um, different objects that you can collect. All of those different game objects that are in the current scene will be here in the hierarchy. Down the bottom here, you have the project window, and this is where you can view all of your assets. So assets are things like images that you're going to use in your game, like background or sprites, such as characters, um, if you're making like a ball game, it might be a ball image, um, things like um, weapons, or torches, um, rocks, trees, all of the different assets that you're going to use in your game are displayed down here. And also things like scripts um, that control your game and things like materials that you might use in your game as well. So assets are down here in the project window. And there's also a console panel as well, which you can use for um, error checking and um, doing the output um, when we're working with scripts. So we'll look at that a little bit later on. Okay. 
Over here on the right hand side we have the inspector. So when you select an object in the hierarchy or maybe an object in the assets panel, um, you can see all of its properties over here in the inspector. So um, things like its position, its rotation and its scale and all different other, other properties there that we'll look at later. In the middle here we have the scene window which is where you actually work on designing your game. So you drag all of the different objects that you want in the scene here. You can move them around. Um, and then we have the game window, which will show you an actual preview of what the game will look like in this scene. At the moment, we don't um, really have a scene here. So I'm going to click on file and new scene. And um, now we can start adding assets to the game and drag them onto the scene. Okay. Um, with all of these different windows, you can actually move them around to wherever you want. So you can snap them in different positions. Um, you can do something like this. So you can have your scene view here and you can have the game preview down here if you like. Um, you could move the inspector somewhere else. So you have all of these different options. If you move things around and then you wanted to get it back to how it was before, all you need to do is click on Window, Layouts, and then Revert Factory Settings. If you create a new layout by dragging the different windows and panels around and you want to keep that layout, then you can also save it as well. And there's a few different options there to choose from, like Default, 2x3, 4 Split, um, which looks like that. A few different options there, but I'm going to go and just go back to the defaults, which looks like this. Okay, so that's basically um, the Unity interface. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to start your project and import all the assets that you need for your project and start creating a game. Thanks for watching.